Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. Now, in yesterday's quick tip, we looked at how you can add a countdown timer to the top of your sales page and or landing page in Kajabi. But on your checkout, you just don't have that option, which is a little bit frustrating. So if you want to have a countdown timer like this on your checkout, you can put it anywhere in this text area of your checkout. Um, you could even put it into an order bump if you wanted to. Um, you just have to add in a little bit of code that you can get from a fantastic third-party free tool. So you don't have to pay for an extra tool. And we can do that just by adding it straight into the source code area. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you can use Send Trick to get yourself a lovely little countdown timer onto your checkout pages in Kajabi. Now you will need to give your email address. So we'll just go and put the email address in here. Make sure to check your time zone. Now it's going to pull the time zone probably off your computer where your computer is set to. So if that is different to where your actual um, time zone is ending for your offer, just make sure to adjust that. And then you will be able to set your timer a maximum of 30 days ahead. Now being a free tool, there are limited options. Um, Centric does have lots of um, additional features if you go for the pro edition. Um, but it gives you 100,000 views with each uh, countdown timer that you make. So hopefully you should be okay. Um, so for the free one, we're going to go and set our date and we are going to set that to 5 p.m. Our language will be English, but you do have other options that you can change it to. So that's helpful if you are not doing a site in English. Uh, we don't have a heap of options with our, um, with our colors. Um, you can change a hex code or you can um, move that around in here. Um, again, if you wanted additional design features, you can um, you know, upgrade to Pro. Personally, I have found the um, free version has been enough because for the most part, I use Kajabi countdown timers. This is just for those places where you can't um, access the Kajabi countdown timer. Um, of course, you will need to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Do recommend reading those before you click on to generate. Now, once you click generate, it does not take long and it's going to bring up your, um, your countdown timer here and the code here. Now, it says copy this code into your HTML template, um, email template. Well, you can do that. You can put this code into an email. I've done that quite a few times when I've been using the classic editor in Kajabi because you're not able to use the Kajabi um, countdown timers in the classic editors. But if you're using the, um, this, the emails where you build it, like a web page where you add different sections, um, then you can just add a Kajabi countdown timer like we did in the quick tip yesterday. Now, like I said, you will have to use your email address in order to access this, but thankfully Centric are very lovely and they will just send you a copy of the HTML code with an invitation to upgrade to Pro and that's it. They will not hound you. You will not find yourself um, getting 4,000 emails, which is a really nice change from a lot of free tools. So what we want to do is we want to copy this code here as this is what we need to put onto our checkout. Now, this one already has the code in. So I'm just going to go in and delete the code um, just so I can show you how to put it back in because I do a little trick to help me figure out exactly where it is going to go. Now, you will notice every time you make a change on Kajabi's checkouts in this text area, you'll have to press save in order to see it. Um, sometimes you'll be like, it's here, but I can't see it there. So just a reminder to press save. So what I actually do is I'll go to the section where I want this to be. So I'm talking about how, um, you know, it's available for a certain period of time. I add in capitals um, and I add to it here and I'll put a bit of space around it. Um, just so doing that is going to really help me to quickly and easily see in the code, which isn't quite as easy to follow exactly where I want this to go. You don't have to do this. You can just sort of um, pop it in, but I just find that a you know, quick, easy little tip to make the insertion point easier. Now we want to go to the source code button. This is actually on all text boxes in Kajabi. It's really cool if you want to make any um, changes, if you've got a little bit of code that you want to, um, to add into your checkout anywhere, embedding things as well. So we can see that we've got add timer here. So we're going to come and delete that line and we're going to then paste in that code that we copied from the trick. And voila, we have for us a lovely countdown. Now you'll see it's not over here. We can't see it yet because we have to save and then it is going to come up on the page and that countdown timer is there. It will count down um, until the, um, the time that you have set um, in your actual um, settings when you set that up and, and then it will just show zero once it gets to the end. But one thing that you can do 
with your offers in Kajabi so that you do not need to worry about them showing up as you can actually with a little bonus tip. Um, you can come and set it up. This is the one that we have got here. Um, you can come into edit in your pricing and you can actually come down and show a time limit. So when this is going to expire. So we could set this for 5 p.m. To be honest, I'd probably set it for like 5.15 or 5.30, just in case anyone was sort of in the middle of clicking through, but that's, you know, entirely up to you. Um, and that on the 9th and fly, um, and we can see that it's in Sydney time zone. Um, and then you can actually be like, oh no, this is expired. Um, and send people through to an expiration page. So they won't go and see this expired countdown timer. They'll actually go and see um, what you have done. You can also send to a landing page. So if you have another landing page that's like a wait list um, or some other helpful um, page. So if someone goes to actually click onto the URL for this or they go to the sales page and click onto it, they'll then be redirected to um, to where your um, page will say, sorry, this offer has now expired, which is a nice little bonus tip for you today. Now, if you would like more Kajabi help, please do subscribe to this channel. I always Sing for joy every time someone subscribes and I'm sending you my thanks. So um, I really appreciate the help in growing this channel. And also the quick tips go out to your inbox every single weekday. So a little bit of Kajabi info straight to your inbox. So if you would like that, if you would like to get the quick tips in your inbox, please go to the unicornadvisory.com slash quick tip and you'll be getting that Kajabi inspiration every day. Sue from the Unicorn Advisory. See you next time.